Hey Libra, welcome to your general reading for the week of September 20, oh no, 27th through October 3rd for anyone with Libra in their sun, moon, or rising. Cross watchers, you are more than welcome here. Just keep in mind that the energies can show up reversed for you. And again, this is a general reading. So take what resonates, leave what does not, okay? So we are kicking off this week with Mercury retrograde. It is in your sign Libra, okay? So it will be affecting you the most, okay? So be mindful of what's going to pop up, okay? It is time to clear out anything we've been sweeping under the rug, not wanting to look at, okay? Expect delays, expect stalls, okay? You guys are showing up as the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So that makes sense, right? Feeling out of balance, okay? There might be something um, that we've been putting on the back, excuse me, putting on the back burner for a little too long, right? It's time to look at that, okay? Um, I'll clarify that in a moment. Your challenge this uh, week is the Seven of Cups, the escapisms, okay, that you allow yourself to take part in, okay? This is surface level mundane energy, okay? things you, or not even things, situations, people, okay, whatever it is that you um, occupy your time with, occupy your attention with, okay, and it's not serving you, okay, it can be um, relationships, right, um, shopping, okay, <laughs> um, watching too much YouTube, right? It can be anything, okay? Whatever is just keeping you from going within, okay? That's the challenge this week is identifying that. I'll also, okay, I'm picking up identifying people that aren't being authentic with you, right? And your focus is the seven of pentacles, okay? So you've been like analyzing something for a long time here, okay? Maybe even daydreaming about something, how to go about something, okay? The eight of wands, wow. <laughs> just flew out when I said that, okay? So this is all about transition, okay? Um, some of you may need to have a conversation, okay? But this is just about kind of like, all right, we've been resting, <laughs> time to go, okay? Clarifying the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse for Libra. The Hangman in the reverse. The Ace of Wands in the reverse. And the Chariot in the reverse, Okay. Pisces, Cancer, Energy, Fire's here as well, okay? I see you trying to start something, okay? It could be in love, okay, with the Ace of Wands here. It could be a business, okay? A new position for a job, okay? Possibly a friendship, just you trying to put your foot in a door, okay, that you feel is in alignment for you. And it can be, it might be, okay? But... <laughs> before you um go forward here okay it's going to be blocked because you need to realize something about this okay um there's something about the situation that you need to look from a different point of view okay and that can mean a lot of things for a lot of you okay so try to use your judgment there but whatever this is this is what's throwing you off balance you're really stressed about this for sure you are almost trying to force I feel this new beginning okay so please take into consideration that the delays and the stalls that you're experiencing this week are for a higher purpose okay now with your challenge position being the seven of cups i definitely want to look into this for you two of wands in the reverse the queen of cups and the world Ooh. okay 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 There is a cycle here, okay, of you overgiving, okay? And that's going to be the challenge to not go along with things that don't identify with you, okay? Of you pouring so much of yourself into a situation. Again, it could be this business, right, um, that maybe you're not identifying with anymore or you just need to take a time out from and again just gain that new perspective because we have the hangman in the reverse and now we have the two of wands in the reverse okay something is being blocked it's for a reason why okay with the queen of cups this is you just portraying 
right? That you, you're great. Okay. You're so happy. You're overjoyed. Okay. Um, and try and almost like, uh, putting off this, like, contagious energy right where it's like you're really happy you're good nobody's questioning you but that's not the case here okay and the challenge is to really identify that and take the mask off okay um it's showing up as a cycle for you okay so this might be like stuff that's conditioned in your shadow here all right but anyway your uh focus again is the seven of pentacles okay clarifying that judgment in the reverse Oh my God. All right. So three major arcanas, judgment in reverse, the star and the sun. Okay. Wow. You have been trying to figure out what it is that makes you happy, Libra. And I do feel like there's illumination coming. Okay. But you have to do the work. You have to um, icing on the cake, right? By going within and really understanding something, okay? For you to know what it is that you want to wish for, that you want to go after, that you want to connect with, you have to understand something on a soul level, okay? Um, this is asking yourself the hard questions, okay? So this is getting like a pretty heavy of a reading, so... Go to your playlist after this and watch a shadow work video. It will help you, okay? Because this is all purpose. The pause, the delay, the analysis, the thinking. There's a reason why you haven't made a move yet, okay? Somewhere, subconsciously, you know it's not all there yet. Something needs to change. And I feel like it's just a perspective or an approach on your end, okay? But that's something you really have to go within and ask yourself with, okay? But it's happiness that's surrounding you, okay? It's um, after the hard, right? The star comes after the tower, okay? So in your past, we have... Oh, speaking of, look at that. <laughs> I swear I did not see that. The tower in the reverse, okay? Scorpio energy. This wasn't cleared out, okay? And that's why you're having to have that judgment, okay? That period. Because the foundation still wasn't fixed. Um, let me clarify before I speak. Temperance in the reverse. Sagittarius energy. Page of Wands in the reverse. And the High Priestess. This could have taken place during the full moon, like if something happened recently, okay, because the Pisces energy is showing up and we just had the Pisces full moon. That's going to um, ring true for a lot of you, okay? The Page of Wands in the reverse, this is somebody who's passionate, but they're not really, they're just not sure, okay? Um, second guessing, that's what I'm getting, okay? Um, and judgment is the card for that, right? It's the card of second chances. It's the card of re-examining something of looking at something once again okay again this is all divinely guided okay but until the tower okay your foundation is balanced okay and truly truly has that solid surface the divine is going to keep blocking this new beginning because you will not reach your highest potential it's not a punishment to you libra whatsoever okay it feels so heavy right now i know but it's meant to just, I mean, catapult you into this beautiful place of growth, okay? Your strength position, okay, is the five of pentacles, okay? It's the sadness you're feeling. It's the grief, okay? It's not here to stay. It's here to say goodbye, right? But you've got to be polite and walk it to the door, <laughs> right? Okay? The wheel of fortune and the magician in the reverse, this is destiny. You are supposed to go through this. There's higher purpose. There's higher lessons, okay? And karma is on your side here. You don't have to be afraid. It's literally just your own thoughts with the magician in the reverse. You're holding yourself back from this negative thinking, from holding on to the pain, right? Going forward, we have the page of pentacles in the reverse. This could be you no longer pursuing something you once were on the road to, right? 
maybe you take that time out and gain that shift of perspective. I'm also picking up though that it's um, it's ego for a lot of you. It's still thinking, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm good with the way I'm going. Ooh, what flew out? The Queen of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, not being honest with yourself here. Okay, that's not the truth. That is not the truth, okay? That is not what identifies with you. Oh my gosh, hold on. Yeah, Eight of Swords. That is holding yourself back here, okay? And at that point, um, you can't feel bad for yourself when things don't happen, okay? Because this is a cycle again and again. We've seen it with the Wheel of Fortune, with the world, okay? The Tower was here. Temperance is here. The Magician. It's all here. Look at all this major arcana, okay? The energy is here to support you. You literally just have to take it. The universe is almost going to make it... Um, impossible for you to not succeed okay the only way you can do that is again if you continue to deny your truth okay and live in fear and live in anxiety it's time to level up and i feel like very blunt saying this <laughs> but i feel like you can handle it libra you're doing great okay your advice okay is the ten of cups in the reverse and the hierophant in the reverse okay taurus energy water energy here as well Okay, it's time to get back on your spiritual path. It's time to identify true happiness. Okay, um, this can definitely, definitely be relating to a family dynamic. Okay, completely. Um, this may be what you need a new perspective on. Okay, in the past, we talked a lot about um, what love looked like to us, um, how we were exposed to love, how we were shown love um how we give love okay this may be what we've been avoiding okay so that's your advice what you don't see coming is the seven of wands mm. yeah it's not defensive energy okay page of swords queen of wands in the reverse eight of pentacles yeah you've just you've managed this long right <laughs> that's what that is okay that's the energy okay and um it's a wall. It's a flimsy wall. Okay. It is one you will have to deal with. Okay. It may surprise you. Um, what you find to no longer identify, excuse me, identify with on a soul level. Okay. What might be coming from ego. Okay. From that sexual repression that's just coming up so much in the energy. Okay. Um, that was almost like a distraction for so many of us, right? Where like our truth was weak and flimsy. We were unsure. We're looking to others to discover our truth, right? And this is just showing me that's the cycle, okay? That's coming up with the world and the Wheel of Fortune, okay? This is what it is. Oh, good. And here's another card to really drive it home here. Scorpio energy, death in reverse, okay? Message from your soul and your hopes and fears. Your soul wants it to end. Your ego's terrified. Of course, okay? You have... It really honestly looks like you've lived forever this way. It's all you know. So it's very uncomfortable. It's very scary. Again, you've gotten by this far, right? The Fool in the Reverse, Aries Energy. Three of Swords. The Two of Swords in the Reverse. Yeah, terrified to go forward because all you know is pain. <laughs> Um, I'm also getting that pain is a comfort zone. It's like you feel like you have to carry this pain, right? Whenever there's like a new beginning, there's pain brought into it, okay? It's time to shed that. Yeah. Going forward, two of pentacles. Love it, okay? This is what you're great at, balance, Okay adapt just go with the flow that's all you have to do the whole reading is just asking you to stop trying to force the beginning before you're ready okay stop trying to run right just go with the flow here okay be like water six of cups in reverse yep give your soul a voice okay that's what's missing here okay that's what will bring the flow right um checking in with our gut going with our intuition okay Speaking for ourselves, living for ourselves, okay? Seven of Swords in reverse, coming out of survival mode, okay? Shedding while we are not, my loves, okay? It is time. It is time. Um, 
I didn't really see a whole lot of romance. I'm just going to do Divine Feminine Oracle of Cards for you guys this week. Let's not overload ourselves. <laughs> the High Priestess. I am one with my soul and my soul is a legacy of love. Okay, well, this reading makes me very happy. I love you guys. I hope it was helpful. If this was helpful, like, share, comment, subscribe. But most of all, be kind, especially to yourselves. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.